May the force be with us. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is TDS Darth Wage back at you with another video yet again. And in this video, this is going to be about which game is better. And it's going to be Battlefront 2015 versus Battlefront 2. I want you to watch the entire video and let me know which game that you think is better. So what we are going to do is we are going to start this off with a damage comparison. And please try to work with me because I had no help doing this. It's literally just me with two controllers doing all of this. So let's count how many hits it takes for Vader to kill Luke. And then we will do it with Luke as well. So it took Vader 11 hits to kill Luke. So now let's see how many hits it takes for Luke to kill Vader. All right. And then we will go to Battlefront 2. And then we will see how many hits it takes for each character in Battlefront 2 to, uh, kill, each, to kill each other. To see about the, the TTK, the time to kill, and, and, do, and do the comparison. Would you rather spend all day whacking at one person, or would you rather get it over with and move on to the next opponent? So Vader took 6 hits, where in Battlefront 2015 he took 11. And now yeah, let's see how many hits it takes for, Luke's to, for Luke to kill Vader. So, count with me everybody. Stay away from these people. So, 12, 13. And as you can see, it takes 13 hits for Luke to kill Vader in Battlefront 2, whereas it took 17 in Battlefront 2015. So now, the Battlefront 2015 choke and rush did not suspend anybody off the ground, and uh, the push did not knock anybody to the ground. To me, that is not immersive, so let's see what it does in Battlefront 2 in comparison. So, the choke lifts them off the ground, giving you the feel of the movie, and so does the push. More immersive, in my opinion. Okay, now, for the saber throw and rush, we will be seeing how they look in Battlefront 2015, and then we will compare that with Battlefront 2. So let's see now in Battlefront 2, the very same things, the saber throw and the rush. Okay, so it hits them twice, goes through them, hits them going forward and hits them coming back. And that is his rush attack in Battlefront 2. Now let's see, one saber throw, I mean one hit and a saber throw equals an automatic miss. Watch this. This is bullshit. Simply throw, and then swing your lightsaber, I mean swing your lightsaber and then do a throw, and it's almost as if it was intentionally designed to fucking miss. And also, if you do the, that same combo with Luke, you will hit your target less times than um, not swinging. So let's see that. Now let's compare that with Battlefront 2, and you can tell me which one you think is better one saber one hit plus a saber throw works every time in battlefront 2 if they're not blocking i'm just saying like com in comparison i'm just taking what i did in battlefront 2015 and doing it in battlefront 2 i'm basically using the basics and comparing the basics so vader has a longer block in battlefront 2015 as you can see, clearly, another advantage. And also, in Battlefront 2, neither side has a block timer at all. Which just really depends on how much stamina you decide to use. By It really makes you do more thinking than in Battlefront uh, 2015, in my opinion. But you let me know what you think. <coughs> Sorry about that. So Vader can block and choke at the same time in Battlefront 2015. That's skill, right? To me, that's bullshit, but okay. Anyway, on to the next topic. Hmm, let's see. Uh, right now, what I'm showing you is, a, is another bug where I'm showing you what goes through block and what doesn't. So... 
we've seen that the all right watch this just watch real quick i want to show you this bullshit all right so now as you can see <laughs> saber lock free hit like literally that's literally all you got to do block free hit saber lock free hit you name it though that's two ways to get in and uh, luke's push actually goes through the block as well and it does a decent amount of damage based on your distance like it look at that stupid shit man that free hit garbage anyway in this game you don't get free hits so in my opinion the parry system actually took less skill than people who could abuse um just swinging crazy for the simple fact is is that well as you can see right here i'm just doing the same things i'm doing in battlefront 2015 that i'm doing in battlefront 2 for a true comparison so now let's do the same thing with loot all right and come on oh man all right so there's that that didn't break his uh, block just like it didn't break his block in battlefront 2015 just like this did not break his block like it did not in battlefront 2015 and this did not break his block either so there you go they're pretty much equal in that except for the saber lock bullshit so once again i would have to give this to battlefront 2 but that is my opinion you let me know what you think so far if you've made it to this point of the video so after taking a hit of um just watch you'll see <laughs> Basically, this is the bug I was telling you about. Watch this. See that? Did you watch his Y button ability? Luke's Y button ability? It overheated because he got hit with a lightsaber. So, literally, you, your ability automatically went into cooldown because you tried to activate it while you were stunned. Just like how you saw that with Vader right there. To me, that is a bug and that is absolute bullshit because you can't immediately respond back to a hit using it. Anyway, the Battlefront 2 abilities don't screw you over. Or getting hit by ability, uh, getting hit by a character doesn't screw you out of your lightsaber or, and force power abilities. Which to me, in my personal opinion, is a, another plus versus um, Battlefront 2015. Because I like it when my abilities don't go on cooldown just because I got hit by something. That's bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. So, to me, in my personal opinion, once again, I say this would go to Battlefront 2. You know, you got, you got Battlefront 2 with these fast-paced mechanics. And that has been put a lot more effort into. You know, there's been a lot more effort put into Battlefront 2 than there ever was put in Battlefront 2015. You can see that based in the graphics and the gameplay, you know, the the mechanics, the, the audio, you name it. There's been way more effort put into this game than there was in Battlefront 2 uh, 2015, in my opinion. So, simply jumping left or right will cause Vader's saber throw to miss you. Let's see, let's see this shit. Watch this. <coughs> like I said, this is me on two separate controllers, so try to bear with me on, on how I'm doing some of this stuff. And as you see, I can simply jump a left or right and make a saber throw miss me every single time. Look at this shit. How fucking pathetic is that? Like, really, that's fucking garbage, man. That is absolutely stupid. But you know what? In Battlefront 2, you don't dare pull that shit with Vader. Now, I'll show you why. Let me show you why real quick. 
tree. See that right there? Bitch, get off. Get out the fucking sky. Land on the ground so I can punish your ass. Really. So to me, that's another plus for Battlefront 2 is because people in Battlefront 2015 literally abused the hell out of the flaws of the mechanics of the game or of the gameplay. You know, simply jumping left or right makes a saber throw miss. Kiss my ass. Just like a, a fucking force choke don't, sus don't suspend you and pull you out of the air for a punish. Kiss my ass. <laughs> really? Sorry, Battlefront 2015 parry system was absolutely garbage. Only for people who like, who can only do anything but get free hits, but which forced players into playing one specific way. Because if you wanted to go like, okay, you take uh, Darth Maul's uh, lightsaber form, Juyo, or whatever, which was literally almost a pure offensive form, and the parry system of Battlefront 2015 was forcing everybody into using Form 5, which was uh, Gemso, which was counterattacking only. Look at this shit. This is so garbage. Like, forcing everybody to use one specific lightsaber form is garbage. That's why I love Battlefront 2's fighting mechanics more than I love Battlefront 2015's is because you could either block to death or you can attack to death. You can be a counter attacker. There is variation in lightsaber form styles in Battlefront 2 in comparison to Battlefront 2015. People who do not understand this are people who more than likely just suck at Battlefront 2. So they go back to Battlefront 2015 because they don't know how to play the fucking game. Which is, I know how to play both. That's why I made a video doing a comparison of both. And, and giving my personal opinion about both. <clears throat> so let's see, what do we got coming up next? We also get to dodge, but not in Battlefront 2015, which also allows you to trick people into doing things that they should not do, but I guess people think this takes no skill. Getting behind an opponent's block to hit them in the back actually does take quite a bit of skill, in my opinion, because all they have to do is keep dodging backwards. Anyway, so now let's do the Emperor Palpatine damage comparison. And as you can see, there's no stun or anything. He's almost out of his whole meter, and he basically did shit for damage. Like, literally did shit for damage. Look at that. Look how long that fucking takes. Good God. Oh, my goodness. That is so trash. Wow. You do know there are other fucking heroes in a match, right? Palpatine is so much better in Battlefront 2. Look at how much damage this does in comparison to that bullshit that was called Battlefront 2015. That is damage. That other shit was sparkles. This is better. Sorry. Kiss my ass if you disagree. Anyway... Battlefront 2, Luke has a faster TTK than Emperor Palpatine, which I pretty much think just about everybody had a faster time to kill in Battlefront 2015 than Emperor Palpatine. But, yeah. Anyway. So, let's see here. Six hits to kill Palpatine, but yet everybody keeps on saying he's overpowered because they don't know how to use their character properly. Anyway, so Palpatine can block in Battlefront 2015, which is the reason I keep on saying give Palpatine a block in goddamn Battlefront 2. Give him the same fucking block. Please give him the same fucking block. If he if he's using all his stamina block and he can't kill, can he? <coughs> So Palpatine in Battlefront 2015 
can dodge on the ground and while he is in the air. Now, while this is a great thing, and it also sent him flying a very damn good distance. You know, like, very good distance. Like, I'll show you right here if you're watching Luke's screen. Like, look at that shit. He literally went from... Woo! That boy had some distance in that fucking dodge. But, you know... The, 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 the issue is, with that, is that you only got to use it once. Yes, it did send you a good ways. And it put you on this cooldown, which forced you into blocking because you only had two attacks, which was your lightning and your chain lightning ability. Which left him... Eh. Okay. He's good in the right hands. But Palpatine in Battlefront 2 can dodge multiple times and he can dodge faster and he can also get his dodge abilities back faster and to me being able to do it faster is a hell of a lot better than being forced into blocking so with that being said the chain lightning in Battlefront 2015 for Emperor Palpatine was very slow, as you noticed. But in Battlefront 2, you will notice that the ability is almost instant when it hits them. We're talking about reaction time. You know, response time. Alright, so look at that. You do the comparison. So far from what I've seen, just about every single time in Battlefront 2... Something from Battlefront 2015 is faster in Battlefront 2. Now, the healing ability, which is something I find so funny that people bitched about like a motherfucker in 2015 about Palpatine not being fair. But yet, they had no issue in Battlefront 2 with Yoda getting the same fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Alright. So, like I said, you let me know... Which is better to you? And you can dodge force powers. I almost forgot to say it. You can dodge force powers with uh, the dodging ability in Battlefront 2, which you can't do in Battlefront 2015. So what I want you to do is let me know in the comments section which game you think is better. Battlefront 2015? with slow and clunky, more buggy and all that, or Battlefront 2, a more fast-paced uh, game. So that's going to be all for this video. If you like the video, then please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and share.